Hey folks, it's Ben. Today we're changing two sensors in this 3800 Series 2 V6 engine from General Motors. It fits in most W body cars. This happens to be a 2002 Pontiac Grand Prix. We're going to be changing the MAP sensor, manifold air pressure sensor, which is over here. And we're also going to be changing the MAF, or mass airflow sensor, in this one. This car has set codes for both, and it runs like crap. You can pretty much run with either or. So if you have a check engine light for one or the other, you can probably get away with it. But unfortunately, on this car, we lost them both, so we need to change them. To get to these sensors, you undo your oil, which then allows you to release the lid right here. That gets you access to the sensors. Now we have undone the battery, which is a 5 16 so because we are dealing with electrical here. The MAP sensor is very easy to change. You unplug it by simply lifting the tab and pulling the plug out. And then you open up this tab here and you wiggle it out because it does have a little rubber seal because this is the intake manifold, so there's vacuum here. It wiggles out. Here we go, and you can see the rubber seal. And I'm going to make sure I don't have any rubber seal in there. We got a little bit of rubber here. We're good, it's clean. Here's what the sensor looks like. If it gets in focus, it's a little rubber thing. The connector, this tells the car how much pressure, manifold vacuum I should say, is in the car. Replacement is identical to installation. Gonna worm it in there. It clicks in, plug it in, you're good to go. Let's go to the next. The mass airflow is a little trickier because it's screwed in. And it has these little, and I've already loosened these. Let me back up the camera. It has these little torque screws with a little button in them. Now you can either A, use appropriate tool, B, drill that little part out, which I tried to do, but it's so small and cold. Or number three, use a pair of pliers because the access to the sensor is actually pretty open and it's only about to 10, it's either 10 inch pounds or 10 uh, foot pounds, so it's not a lot. So I actually undid it with just a uh, pair of pliers and you can get both of them undone because they're not in very tight. Before we loosen that one up, we're gonna unplug it. Pull the second one out. The unit should lift straight up. And in fact, you're gonna to wanna to lift it straight up because there's a little sensor stem. There you go. Here's our replacement. Has a little thing that sticks in the air there. And it drops right in and uses the same screws that the original one held on with. It has a rubber seal, make sure the hole's clear. Drop it in. Start your screws, put them in the same way you took them out, with whatever tool you used, plug it back in, and you're done. Very easy. Don't have to even really move anything off the engine, which is wonderful compared to, say, changing out an oil pan or what have you. And that's how you change two sensors in a 3800 Series 2 V6.